right, what's going on? Well, I was asked a question to see if I'm going to start doing videos again. I think I will. It's been a while since I've done one. Uh, just haven't felt the, the wonder the need to do one for a while. Anyways, right now we are westbound Interstate 40. We're on our way to Memphis, Tennessee. We're going to take this load and uh, take it to the yard and then we're going to stay at the yard for 34 hours. I'm not looking forward to this at all because I heard that people in Memphis are acting stupid. But since they said we can stay in the yard, there's some comforts to the yard that make life a little bit easier. I just gotta do some planning for some grubbage and uh, things from there. So yeah, uh, it's a nice day, it's cloudy, 87 degrees, humid, very, very humid. We're in Lewisburg, Tennessee yesterday and the temperature case said it was 82 and it was drenching in uh, sweat. It was a trip. I haven't seen that kind of humidity since Mississippi. But now we're cruising along. I figure I have to start doing some video content to add to my YouTube because I guess people want to see it. Yeah. It's been a while. I used to do the videos where uh, we throw a music band, have that just cut off three cars in one shot. That's an amazing on the cap. I'd like to get a program to where I can do this when I'm talking to you guys and uh, have another camera sticking out we're recording as we're driving but I gotta figure out how to do that anyways my name is Robert Felix for those of you that don't know who I am I see me handle is the duck I've had that nickname for going on four years now a gentleman by the name of Todd uh, Murphy out of Fontana California when I was working for Western Express gave me that handle because I was the first person in uh, the company to be from New Mexico and I was the only one in the van division. So, uh, gave me the duck. It was going to give me the rubber duck, but I didn't want to copy the movie, so I eliminated the rubber part and left the duck. And it's been with me ever since. And, uh, I like it. It's a good CV handle. So it's better than some that I've seen up there. from Socorro, New Mexico. And five years on the road. I took a seven month vacation when I got injured. And, uh, yeah, it is what it is. And just going on from there. Right now we're about to enter Jackson, Tennessee. I have to get ready to switch to the left lane because the construction rolls over here. Say it again, the all truck drivers have to get up the left hand lane and stay there. But anyways, yeah, I'm not looking forward to being in Memphis because these riots and protesting are just way out of left park and way out of context of what the nation is protesting about. But it is what it is. We just have to move forward and deal with it that point on hopefully there's some change that happens but it's going to be unlikely because of our political leaders are very very questionable and that's both sides of the fence my questioning for it is if the republican party and the president of the united states care so much about what's happening in seattle why isn't he doing anything about it why i, I don't know if i was the president or if i was the governor or what I would have sent the military in a long time ago to take care of that problem, to take care of that mayor, to take care of that team of, that's just me. It's not about the political party, it's about the people that are being hurt and the 
with the constituents that are being hurt. And now uh, Antifa is making mafia like gestures, making people pay to uh, own their own businesses and places that supposedly don't belong to Antifa, where they claim it's not the United States anymore. Well, I don't know, it's an act of war. We don't put up with this kind of stuff with other people. So why are we putting it up with these clowns? Oh my god, this guy's getting off the freeway. It's a beautiful thing because he can't drive for crap. And it's a regular vehicle towing a trailer full of grass. Well, he can't drive for crap. I'm glad he's on the freeway now. But anyways, it is what it is. I'm going to try my hardest not to get too political because it gets me pissed off. I got to speed the process up right here so this truck can come down. Traffic is, for a Saturday, is very, very thick. I said, I want to figure it out. Let's see if they got a program where I can uh, get a camera shooting it forward and mix it up. My son gave me that suggestion a while back. We tried to find a program. We found an app that actually did it, but it was very crappy. And it only lasted for like three seconds and it shut off. But yeah, it is what it is. I don't know much. Tell me what you guys think, how you feel, the kind of content that you guys are looking for, because pretty much everybody on YouTube is doing what I'm doing right now. And you don't want to get too played out, you know what I mean? I had a YouTube channel before where I would play music. And uh do my talking content, but I would put songs that people would request, but I was really conflict with it a lot with uh, YouTube, you know, though they'd give me the okay to do the music, and uh, Facebook would give me the okay to do the music, but then they would turn around and change their mind saying they were going to pull it because there was a claim with it or something, and it's a pain in the butt, but people were enjoying it, and I used to like doing it, then I just stopped because it was getting on my nerves with the... Uh, blocking of my videos but I also belong to a group with a bunch of truck drivers and fans of truck drivers and I was asking how to make videos again so here we go try to hit the engine brake real quick because we're surrounded and coming up to the feet distance. I don't know. Today's one of those days. I just wanted to be over. I was at a truck stop and I, was, I sent a message and said, hey, my situation is this. I'm low on hours. Nighttime at my uh, company. Told me to pick up the road. And I don't got the drive time to get it to my destination on time, which is El Paso. It's like 1,100 miles from where I picked up the road. Bridge. There's one thing I don't like about bridges is they don't blend in with the road and it hurts. So I decided to downshoot at the exact same moment that uh, we're hitting the exit of part of that bridge and that hurt. A very orange trailer. Now we're coming to that part where we gotta get to the lane. It's 55 miles an hour now in the construction zone. But you're gonna see a bunch of people now just passing like it's flipping full. Because cops are out doing their thing. They gotta keep the place secure and things like that. People just don't know how to act anymore. My GPS is talking today. My GPS was in a really bad mood yesterday. I don't know why. I kept turning on and off every time I would, uh, every time that I would, uh, turn my stereo on, it was weird. 
for a milk company in New Mexico. But I got to see if they're still hiring for it. So the last time I called them was before I got the job with Sky Transportation. And I didn't have the tank and endorsement yet, so I took the test and I passed. I took the hazardous material endorsement and, and I passed it with the federal government. Oh my God, you got to give your first bird, your first born, your second born, your third born, your fourth born, your grandchild. They want to investigate you just for carrying stuff that everybody carries in their normal household. It's a very stupid. And it's all because of the 9 11 incident. And now we got to carry ourselves like that. But, anyways, we finally made it to Pop Marker 76. We're going to be looking for exit 42. And i to put some gas in this bad boy. I think I got enough to make it all the way to Memphis. We can give it a shot. I'm just not looking forward to staying in Memphis. That's what that is. Well, where we're at and we're downtown and all this community is going on are two different places. But what they've been doing lately with these protests is they're taking it to the freeways. And they're attacking truck drivers and they're attacking people. And I'm sorry, if it's going down there where my time is coming, I gotta be God. And it's at the hand of a protest, there's no uh, take over here with me. Yeah, I'm not going alone. Anyways, we were gonna close this one close because we're already at 16 minutes, 45 seconds into this bad boy. I don't wanna bore you guys too much, so I'll talk to you guys here in a little bit. Right, stay tuned, we'll be right back.